Why do birds mimic? Some birds mimic because of accidental learning, especially the juveniles. First, the sensory phase. Young birds have to first memorize a parent's song and then form an auditory memory in their brain. This juvenile song by Green Bull is trying to copy the billy sound and the jumbled notes afterwards. The sensory motor phase, where young birds then have to transfer that inner memory into the motor activity of practicing, comparing and fine-tuning their song. This juvenile white-browed scrub robin is trying to copy sounds it has heard from its parents, as well as the call of a somber green bull. Some birds mimic to impress mates. Birds with a wide repertoire of songs and mimicry tend to easily attract females because the females think the male has been around for long and is strong and can defend the territory better. Watch how wide this mimicry repertoire is of this Cape Robin chat. And some birds mimic to access food sources. In order to steal food from other birds, some birds make warning calls or they mimic warning calls of other birds to get them to flee and leave the food behind for them to take. Look how accurately this forktail drongo mimics a cat meowing and the warning call of a cape robin chat. I watched this African hoopoo probing for insects in the grass. Every now and again it stops and surveys the area for predators. It eventually finds a caterpillar and pounds it a bit, then swallows it quickly. A pair of forktail drongos arrive and give some warning calls. The hoopoo flees. If the hoopoo had a larger caterpillar to swallow, it would have dropped it and the drongos would have grabbed it. Some birds mimic to protect their nests and chicks. If they mimic predators near their nests or chicks, potential predators will stay out of the area. 
Listen to how this folktale drongo mimics the warning call of a spotted eagle owl that is perched nearby. It looks like it is teasing the owl. The Spotted Eagle Owl's Warning Call See how accurately this black-bellied starling mimics the call of the African goshawk in order to scare potential predators away from the area where they are nesting. These starlings were nesting in that area. And this is the African goshawk's call that it was mimicking. Now listen how remarkably accurately this little capped wheat ear mimics the squeals of a baby chakma baboon. Not all birds are able to mimic or imitate sounds of other birds or mammals or even environmental noises. It is mainly the songbirds that have the ability to mimic sounds besides their own songs and calls. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and leave any comments in the comment section down below.